In this example of analysis vibration, this is example number 1.3 of the textbook, we have a reciprocal machine is mounted on a foundation. The unbalanced force of the moment developed in the engine are transmitted to the frame and foundation. And we have an electric pad and is placed between the engine and the foundation block to reduce the transmission of the vibration. We want to develop two mechanical models and to see if we can gradually complicate the models. Our first model is a one degrees of freedom model. So let me write it here. We will consider the mass of the engine. We will consider a unbalanced force in the engine. And this will be our equivalent mass. And then we can model the soil and we will include in that modeling, we will include the balls, the elastic, the elastic pad, the foundation and the soil. And we will find an equivalent spring or stiffness and an equivalent damper or damping coefficient. That represents everything that is transfer the force from the engine to the soil. That will be our simplest model. Then we can do a second model of two degrees of freedom, in which case we still have the mass of the engine and our unbalanced force. And then we can have an equivalent stiffness and an equivalent damping between the engine and the foundation. So that equivalent stiffness and this equivalent damping will consider, for example, the balls, the elastical pad. So here we have the mass of the engine. And that includes everything that the components that are between the mass and the foundation. Which are walls and, for example, elastic pad. And then we have the mass of the foundation. So here we do not neglect the mass of the foundation, but this is our second degree of freedom. So we need a variable that describes this, the position of this foundation. And then we have the stiffness and the uh, equivalent damping coefficient, also so both equivalent for the soil. And these represent our two different models, one more refined than the other one. Obviously, we have to, when we are modeling in a real system, what we have to do is solve the uh, model by the governing equations and the mathematical solution and compare with the real behavior of our system. And if we need to further uh, complicate our system or further find our equivalent stiffness or damping coefficients of our uh, real components, then we have to do that in order to have a simulation that really represents our real system.